To start, empty the contents of the box and separate the planks into the two piles marked A and B. Carefully read the instructions on the back of the box as the boards have to be laid in a certain order. Before we can start fitting the floor, we have to find and mark the centre point of the room. Measure the centre of the room and draw a line on the substrate lengthways down the centre of the room. Measure 4.25 cm either side of the centre line and draw these lines onto the substrate. Once you've marked out the floor, you will need to create a starting triangle. We will show you how to clip the planks together later in the video. Start with a plank marked A and a plank marked B and follow steps 3 to 7 to create your starting triangle. Ensure you place the darker plank B in image 5 as it will help you mark out where to cut on the triangle. Using a straight edge, mark a line across the planks to create your starting triangle. Using a sharp blade, lay a straight edge along your marked line. Pressing firmly down, cut along the boards. Several scores may be necessary to create a clean break. Start to separate the planks from the outside, leaving them in the correct order. Before snapping, give each plank a final score to ensure it snaps easily. You may find it easier to snap a plank over your leg rather than the straight edge. By holding the board with one hand, whilst placing increasing pressure with your other hand until you snap the plank. You will find that the underlay will need cutting separately. Lay the plank on your straight edge to expose the underlay. This makes cutting easier. Place the plank back into its original position to make it easier to reassemble. Repeat these steps until all the planks are cut. You may find when cutting the smaller planks for the starting triangle that you might not have cut sufficiently enough to break the plank cleanly along the joint or that a small part of the click system has broken off. Don't worry, this will have no effect on the fitting of the boards. Herringbone planks are clicked together by taking a plank marked A and clicking it into the short end of a plank marked B. Click a plank into place, working from the outside of the triangle, ensure you line up the outside edge. Click in one side and slide into place, ensuring the end clicks into place. Repeat until all pieces are in place. Move your finished triangle into place. Remember to leave a minimum 6mm expansion gap from the wall. Always place the first triangle so that the corners of each plank run exactly along the two outer lines drawn on the substrate. This will ensure the flooring is central to the room. Once your centre triangle is in place, you will need to create additional triangles in the same way and position them along the remaining length of the wall. Check the layout on the instructions and pick up a board marked A. Connect the small lip side of the board into the wider side of the already fitted plank. Ensure you leave a slight gap at the end and the plank is sitting on the lip dead. Now you need to tap the board into place. Use a universal tapping block along with a hammer and gently tap the board into place. Now, as per the instructions, use a board marked B and fit as before by leaving a slight gap at the end and the plank is sitting on the lipped edge. Using your universal tapping block, 
gently tap the board into place. Continue in this manner of fitting a row of A boards followed by a row of B boards until you've completed the length of the room. 